Hey guys, welcome to today's session. What I want to show you is how to set up WordPress in a Docker container so it can work pretty easy locally. Now I got inspired by this guy, he did some pretty good job, but he explained it in Linux, so since I'm using Windows I had to work my stuff through this uh, tutorial and I had a lot of trouble. That's why I decided to create my own video in Windows, but still thanks a lot, you definitely inspired me. And he got inspired by this guy who developed this stuff. And what he did was that he uh, created a project that allows us easily to set up our own custom domain. Then we have our nginx config file that we can configure. We have a php.ini file that we can configure. We have volumes. These are important so we can work locally and see the changes on our WordPress immediately. Then we got Bedrock, it's pretty much, I think, the coolest thing that happened to WordPress in the last two or three years, because it makes development so much easier. And we got WordPress CLI, didn't play with that so far. We got PHP My Admin, and we got CLI scripts to create our own certificates. Now this makes it pretty easy and pretty comfortable to create these uh, certificates. And the certificates are useful so you don't get those annoying messages, those warning messages by your browser when you develop locally that the site is not protected or not secure. So that's pretty cool. Now what we're gonna do first uh, if we do this is we have to install PHP. Now what I usually do, I use Chocolaté to install my stuff. This is a dependency manager for Windows, or installation manager for Windows, sorry about that. And all we have to type is chocolate install PHP. Then it tells us that I already installed PHP. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to do that again. Next thing is we want to install Composer. It's a dependency manager for PHP. Now what we do is download it, download the setup file, and install the setup file. It shouldn't be too difficult. Next, we install Docker for Windows. That's also pretty easy. Just go to docker.com, go to download for Windows, install it, and go to settings after installation. That's important because otherwise the, um, the containers that have volumes won't start. They won't have a problem. So we have to do here file sharing and to whatever hard drive we copy our GitHub repository later, that hard drive has to be selected here. So the volumes will work. Okay, so pretty much prepared if you did this. Now, what we do, let's get down to business. Um, we download this as zip, store it locally. I already did that and then we open it in our favorite IDE. Okay, so what we got here is our WordPress project that we got from GitHub. Now in here we got our CLI scripts. We got, these are for Linux and we got here our Windows scripts. And what's important is if you want to change by default, it's myapp.local, the domain name. If you want to change that, you have to make adjustments in the end dot example file here and in this file here and just change whatever it's my app dot local to whatever you want. I would suggest that you search the project globally for my app dot local if you want a different domain name and just go through everywhere where it says my app dot local and change it. Now, what we have to do is we have to rename these example files here to .env. We won't make any adjustments here, we just take it as it is. And we also will rename this file now. Uh, what we have to do next is we have to go to the hosts file and add 
myapp.local to it. So the host file is uh, in C Windows System32 drivers etc hosts. And when you open it as in text editor, what you have to do is to the end you have to add the domain and save it. Okay, now what we gotta do next is we open it in the explorer. Already did that. And we go to CLI and we go to the Windows scripts and we start this create certificate batch. Now here you can see um, what this batch is based on. If you want to make adjustments, um, you can do this here. Here you also would have to change your uh, domain name if you would want to use something else than myapp.local. But just for development, I would suggest that you don't do any adjustments here. So, okay, let's start this. Now here, we also don't have to enter anything, just go through it and take the default values. And after the script runs successfully, here we get in our search, we get the certificates that got created. Now what we have to do next is we have to tell Windows that this certificate is trustworthy. Okay, so what we do, the easiest way I usually do it is I right click on the certificate, I make install certificate, then I say for the current user, click next. And here I tell to which uh, to which store to um, put the certificate in. So I put it in the trusted root certificate authorities store. Click OK. Click Next. Click Finish. Yes, I really want to do this. Click OK. And now Windows has this certificate that was created by me in its trust store. We will need that later, or we will, if it works as expected, then we won't even see anything. We will see that there won't be a warning, so that's good. So let's go back to this stuff. Okay, we created the certificates. Um, what's also interesting that if we go to the CLI directory, Windows scripts, here we have two readme files that give a good explanation on how to create a certificate, how to make it trustworthy, and how to make adjustments to the host file. So, that's pretty cool. Now, let's get to the interesting part. We did a lot of adjustments. Let's start it. What we have to do first, we, ha we have to go to the directory where we installed, or where we copied, GitHub repository and then we go to source and we do composer install so all the plugins and stuff like WordPress is being installed now if we go back to PHP store you see pretty good what's the new stuff like it has a different color that it just got um, generated. So here we have the vendors, and here we get the important stuff, WordPress, just got installed. Okay, so what we want to do next is we want to start the Docker container. So we go back to our PowerShell, go one level up, and we do Docker Compose up. Now everything is starting. Pause uh, exit it again after installing stuff. Okay, okay, looks like everything is running. Then let's go back to the browser and test this. Now what we do is we enter myapp.local, and ta-da! We got our WordPress installation locally. Uh, 
as we know it. Okay, that looks pretty cool, I would think. So I hope you had fun. Oh, one thing. So you know what all the certificate work was for. Here you can see that we got a valid certificate. It's in German, but you can trust me. Gültig means valid. And uh, issued to, issued by. So that looks good. That looks pretty good. Okay. Hope you had fun and enjoy your WordPress on a Docker and enjoy developing locally. I hope this makes your development more fun and faster and more productive.